Hello there. It is I, Breland. I am finally back. I got my ass reamed out by Hurricane Ida here in New Orleans just a couple weeks back and I was out for a really long time. I had to go and stay with my mom in Alexandria, which is like four hours from here because our power was out. I had to take Jeffrey, me and Slava, of course, and that is the reason why I haven't posted. It's just been so hard to get back and readjust to life again after being gone from our house for like two weeks. And we have a lot of other stuff going on too. And I've got to do something with this ugly hair because my hair has looked this disgusting for like three weeks now because my birthday month is coming up. It's in October, October 18th is my birthday. So in the spirit of like Halloween and fall, which is my favorite time of year. And we celebrate Halloween and fall and pumpkin spice lattes and pumpkin everything, pumpkin flavored lube, everything's pumpkin. And that's why I think my hair should look like a pumpkin. So today I'm actually gonna be doing my roots. I'm gonna be doing like a bleach bath on my roots, which is when you mix shampoo with your bleach and developer. I think that it's time to really just indulge my orange hair and dye my hair Tiger Lily Orange from Manic Panic. I love orange hair. Like it reminds me of Lilu from The Fifth Element. And I really just thought it would be fun to dye my hair orange for October and do a bunch of really fun orange themed photos. Orange is a really underrated color. And I have never been the one to like go to orange first, but it's a very happy color, in my opinion. It's warm, it's bright, and it also reminds me of my birthday and Halloween and stuff. Like, it really gives me those feels, those autumn feels. I've heard a lot of great things about Manic Panic. My mom used to use it back in the 90s. I remember she'd always dye her hair crazy colors back then. Let me just say that the jars were a lot bigger back in the 90s, too. Like, the jar, this one is so freaking small. Back in the 90s, they were like, that big around and they were like that tall like there was a lot of color i don't know if you remember if you lived through the 90s and you may have dyed your hair using manic panic but damn like they downsized a lot so let me know what the hell you've been up to lately i've just been trying to get back to normal and i am and that's why i'm here so of course i'm gonna go ahead and brush my hair and uh, oh let me show you all of my shit that i have here on the counter so this is my bleach this is clairol and then i use the clairol 40 volume developer i've got this shampoo here i noticed these uh paraben free shampoos don't lather worth a shit like it takes so much to make them lather like just give me the parabens back girl i'm fine with that so then we have uh my little bowl here some so i have like two of everything for like the coloring process and the bleaching process i've got two pairs of gloves two hair cover thingies shower caps and all of my brushes i even have this tiny brush here which i if you have baby hairs this brush is amazing i got it on amazon it's great to like shape your baby hairs with like gel or whatever you use but I'm also using it to make sure I get every single tiny hair in the front. But I use this to disperse the color throughout my hair or the bleach. And it's kind of bleached right now, but this is awesome. It's from Spornet. I've had this thing for years, probably like 10 years now. It's been a really long time and it works for everything like teasing, bleaching, coloring. Okay, so I just mixed up a little bit of pure bleach and I'm gonna take this little brush and make sure that it covers like all of these front areas trying not to ruin my hair that's already there I've been watching Brad Mondo and he's like put bleach on there what are you doing you're not putting enough <laughs> 
like his hair reactions to people doing their own hair. It's like, okay, dude, I gotcha. So I'm just gonna keep doing this and uh, take my hair down as I go, just to ensure that I'm getting all these little hairs around my face. Also, I have been following the Gabby Petito case too. That is like so sad. I was so pissed off that that motherfucker, like, you know, he totally killed her. I don't think he meant to. I think it was an accident, but I've had a boyfriend who was exactly like him, who was super controlling and jealous and like hated it when I did things that I guess showed me to more people like she wanted to do with her YouTube. Like he hated it. He hated it when I went out, especially without him. He hated like certain things that I wore. It was just a really toxic relationship. And I feel like shit, who knows? I it, I could have been just like Gabby Petito if I would have stayed in it. And as of filming this video, they still haven't found the fucker. But they are definitely looking. They're on a mission, that's for sure. I'm gonna start using this little brush here. Just to like get all of this area. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing as much as the front of the front as I can with like this pure bleach and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so here I am. And I have to say it came out a lot better than I thought it would. I like the different tones in it actually. Of course, I'm just saying that because I have no other choice and I'm not really good at bleaching, but. So my hair is gonna be dry in three, two, one. Yay, my hair is magically dried. Do I look like Marilyn? <laughs> I know, I look so bad with this color hair. It just doesn't fit with my skin tone. So let's get some color on this shit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is section my hair off and I'm probably gonna start with the back because it's really the worst part because you can't see shit. And I'm gonna apply color to the roots first with the brush, and then I'm gonna go back and just use my gloved hands to disperse the color all through the long parts of my hair. It just makes it a lot faster. And I'm also gonna mix my Electric Tiger Lily Manic Panic with some conditioner to make it go further. We will see, oh great. Gosh, I hate these things. I can't ever get them off. These freaking damn them for wanting to protect the product. All right, so I'm gonna go and spend 30 minutes trying to get this open and I'll see you when I finally do. Look how freaking bright this is. It is definitely neon. Gosh, it's so hard to brush my hair after I bleach it. That's how you know it's damaged. <laughs> But whatevs. A YOLO. Do people even say that anymore? Probably not. So let's do, let's use this to mix it. So I'm gonna take like a clump of color. Ooh. So here's the color, super neon. And you're really gonna see how bright it is when I put it on my hair. So let's begin. And this is really gonna make my hair feel and my scalp feel good because of the oils in the conditioner. My scalp is very dry ever since I bleached it today and it just did not feel very good. Ooh, look at that. You see, that is bright. Goodness gracious. This is so fun. Okay, so I got a little carried away and I went ahead and just finished my roots. And look how effing orange this is. This is like definitely Lilu from Fifth Element orange. So there's another batch. I'm just gonna use my fingers and then just start 
going through all of my hair and applying it. So I'll see you when I'm done with that. Oh, MG, like I literally feel like my head is Nickelodeon. It reminds me of Chucky from the Rugrats. <laughs> like, look how orange. I thought it was gonna be a little darker than this, but I absolutely love how neon it is. Like, this is what I was going for. Extreme bright neon orange. And I got it. Now, I also noticed, if you look closely, like, there's some little streaks that are a little bit oranger than others, kind of reddish lines. I don't know if you can see very well, but I noticed that and hopefully that doesn't alter the way it looks and you can clearly see like this top part is where the darker blonde is where the old black hair dye used to be and that shit is it is taking forever to get it out so okay so look how bright this is oh my gosh look at this it's really interesting. It's not what I thought it was gonna look like. I thought it was gonna be a lot darker, a lot more red. Next time you see me, I will be all done up. So I'll see you then. And here I am. <laughs> look at my hair. Oh my gosh. Okay, so first of all, it reminds me of the McDonald's yellow. You know, like the darker yellow. And uh, I've got my orange makeup on. How do you like it? Was I meant to be an orange head? Actually, this came out a lot more yellow than I was hoping. Maybe it was because I mixed too much of the um, conditioner in with the color, not sure. Then again, it could be just the previous colors I've put on my hair and it just wasn't bleached enough. I don't know, I thought my hair was bleached enough for all of it to come out looking like this color like i was thinking it was going to be this color but it came out this color and it really looks kind of like just a different shade of blonde well not blonde of yellow i can't tell if it's yellow or orange what do you think do you think it's yellow or do you think it's orange not sure but I think it's really fun. I'm not 100% satisfied with it. And I honestly, I haven't been 100% satisfied with any color that I have done so far. Just saying. Like nothing has ever come out like I really wanted it to. So yeah, that is my hair finally complete. I'm still wanting to go orange and this just isn't the pumpkin spice latte orange that I was hoping for. So yeah, that's my hair. Let me know what y'all think and I'm gonna go. I got other videos to film. I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Thank you for being patient with me, which you really have no other choice, but still. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.